Hey guys, it's Chris and it is October 2nd of Vlogtober of my birthday month. Yes, it is. And before I go any further, I was just watching Nova Gnome Creations, Nova Gnome Creations. She, um, she had on her pink hat to remind everyone that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and um, to save those tatas. So do what you gotta do, make sure that they're checked Make sure that you check them, get the mammogram if you need to go get that done, save the tatas. It's important. It is important. So um, yes, it's my little pink hat to remind us of that. I won't be wearing this every day though of the month because I hope to get it in the mail and send it to Whitney, my daughter. That's who I made this for. So today, Monday, it is now my time. Uh, 10, or sorry, 8.15 p.m. And so I've had my Monday. It's a great Monday, by the way, October 2nd. And I had every intention of coming home tonight and making my um, croco shark for my headmaster at the school. He has requested a croco shark. I have it in the podcast, but the podcast has not yet been edited and downloaded, edited and uploaded, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, but um, yeah, so he has seen some of the other creations that I've done. And he asked me if I would be able to do the head of a crocodile and the body of a shark or a croco shark because the little, the littles, did he say what year? Was it the year twos or just the reception twos. I don't know if they were four-year-olds or six-year-olds, seven-year-olds. I think the four-year-olds. They they choose what, what monster they want him to be to chase them around on the playground, which I think is his favorite thing to do, is to play on the playground when they're at recess. Um, and so that's what they choose, is a croco shark. So I went online and I found the patterns or something to start with. And Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to come home and do the whole thing and then show it to you. Not so much. So I did the did most of the head. So I started with a uh with a pattern for it's a it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Ella's Toys. I can't remember her last name. It starts with a K. It's a it's a foreign name. So it's uh, I don't, I don't remember what it is, uh, but it's a free pattern and it's for a crocodile bank and it's, it's made with, you know, I think sport weight yarn and a little tiny hook and it makes like a decent size crocodile, like the whole body standing up and this belly is a bank. It's so cute. It's so cute. But anyway, so, but the, but the head is a pretty long snout. It's a pretty big head. And, um, I knew that I was going to be using this, oops, sorry, this big blanket yarn stuff that I'm making my creatures out of. And so uh, I started with, I'm using a seven millimeter hook and I knew it was gonna be a lot bigger and I didn't want it to be that long. So I started, I did started with the bottom jaw and removed, you know, five, ro five rows, rounds from that and then did the top jaw and did the same thing. I had to frog it just once to do a little bit better shaping. Uh, somehow I got off on it, but so far this is my little That's the That's better. So that's the head. I have the nostrils. He's toothless right now, but he's gonna have, he's got a little tongue in there. And right now he's a little hand puppet because I've made the bottom jaw, the top jaw, and sewed them together, I'll be stuffing the top jaw, not the bottom jaw, and just finishing a couple more rounds um, of the head in the green, and then I need to make the shark with the gray. So, so far it's been about, it's about, I'm so sorry, about a ball and a half of the green, and it's probably gonna take, I have two balls of the, of the gray, no, I have three, but it's going to take that at least. This is going to be the largest that I've done. So I thought, hey, I'll just finish it and then submit it because I thought, you know, it's going to be so easy. I'm just going to submit it for the Amogurumi Wars 
that um, Sam from Manfa's Makes is hosting this month, and I already and I already watched her video this morning. So I am going to finish it. I am going to enter it. I haven't been in it all year long. I really didn't know about it, and I'm really not an amigurumi person. So, but I'm sure I'll be making some this month. I'll be putting those in, entering them in just to be a part of it, just to be fun. So here's my bright white, the bright whites, to be the nice, shiny, scary teeth. And then I've, I've found a pattern of a really big um, shark uh, that I'm gonna have to modify in order to make it. But it's, it's the one that I could find that is going around this way in the rounds, as opposed to from the top, you know, from the fin and then around because that wouldn't work for adding it onto the crocodile head. So I needed to find something that I could follow the shape. Like I said, I don't make amigurumis, so I can't just do it like Nova can, just off the top of my head and probably Sam can too. I just don't, I probably made, I don't know, this year's the only time I've really made them. And so I've made six, seven, eight of them so far. Most of those being frogs, leggy frogs, leggy froggies. So, but I am really, really impressed with myself. I should be impressed with the pattern uh, to get this kind of a shape. It's gonna, he's gonna have a nice little overbite, like I think he should, although I think that might be a little more alligator than crocodile, but anyway, like they're gonna, they probably will know the difference, but anyway, there's gonna be nice white teeth in there. I'm really excited. I hope I can go to bed and not stay up all night and do it. I'm not going to stay up all night and do it. So I didn't even, oh, I already took off my earrings. I didn't put them back on. I had to put on my thumb braces because this, this crocodile head is, is hurting. So, so this is me after a long day, got up, rode the motorcycle into work. Well, you know, rode on the back of a motorcycle took care of, played mama bear to my little um, year sevens, which are like sixth graders, my homeroom. One little girl came in after everybody went to their first class. She was not having a good morning. So I sat down with her for a little while and we chatted. She laid her head down for a little while and then she went on, sent her on to the nurse so she could lay down for a little while until she goes into second period class. She was just not having it. Just a just pitiful morning. Anyway, I saw her later. She was doing a lot better. She looked much brighter. Just needed a little bit of extra TLC this morning. And then I had my four regular levels of psychology. I don't think I mentioned that in my last, in yesterday's. I do, I am a teacher. I mentioned that, but I teach psychology. I teach a uh, British curriculum. And so I'm teaching the GCSE AQA, GCSE Psychology, not the IGCSE, the GCSE. And then I'm, then I am also teaching the A levels, the international A levels of Edexcel, the AS and the A2 levels for Edexcel. So I had those classes today. And what else did we have? We had a meeting and oh, what else did I do? I was doing something. Oh, I spoke to the headmaster again. I think he just likes coming in my room to see all of these because I think he was a primary teacher and he just likes, loves to come in and see all of the, the crochet goodies. <laughs> he likes to hang out. And, uh, but we were talking, we had talked before about, uh, they don't have a counseling department they do have a safeguarding team uh, that helps the kids as far as need, any kind of um, social emotional help, um, just as far as training the teachers to do what we can do when there are needs involved. But there is not a counseling department. There's not a career counseling department um, to, and career and college, you know, to get our, our seniors, our juniors and seniors all ready for, with their applications and where they're gonna go and making plans and such like that. And I'm really hopped, take that off. And, um, sorry, excuse me. Uh, 
So we don't have anybody that really the, um, the sixth form can go to, to talk to about that. And there was a training uh, session coming up for a, a program that they train teachers in how to do that and to set up their own department and also a counseling department. So social emotional learning and just being the social emotional liaison, you know. And I was like, I, you know, as long as they train me to do that, I think that my background would lend itself. I just wanna stay in the classroom. So I, I, I talked to the headmaster about it and he was gonna see, he's gonna to talk to the owner uh, it is a private school and see about that. I know it would be better for certification, for licensure, for the different um, examination boards to have, of course, a career counselor. And then um, our CPD, <clears throat> our teacher that, that focuses on, on career professional development, continuing professional development, whatever you want to call it. She had also spoken to the headmaster about the program about me going to the program and she came in and she she mentioned she told me what the conversation was about and it was kind of like she mentioned to to him that we also don't have anybody for the teachers to go to like a counselor and that you know that's an important part of having a, a well-rounded school and absolutely it is we don't have an hr department and that's different than a counseling department but somebody maybe who just is a little bit more tied in, more of a liaison to the community, um, mental health, uh, maybe some other trainings that I can go to to brush up on my counseling skills. Um, I have done group counseling in the past. I do have training in education and counseling, um, crisis intervention. I used to run a, a crisis hotline, suicide hotline. Um, that kind of thing, but not individual therapy. I did group therapy, but I never did individual therapy. Triage, I did, that sort of thing. So maybe it's something that I could do. I just don't wanna leave the classroom. So we'll see, that's kind of up in the air. Hopefully in the next week or so, I'll hear something, and that may be something that I'll be doing um, in the new year, and then maybe into the summer, do some, some of the training modules in the summer, I don't know. I don't know, it sounds kind of fun. As long as they leave me in the classroom. I don't wanna leave the classroom. That's why I never got into administration. That's why I don't wanna get into counseling back in the States because there's such large schools that I've worked in and the counselors, they have to be, it's full time, you know, and I don't wanna leave the classroom. I've said that now 20 times, I think. I think I mean it. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on today. So, save the tatas. All month long, all year long, all life long. Save the tatas. Get checked. Check yourself. Have your hubby check you. Your significant other, your partner, whoever. Uh, yeah, and I will hopefully finish this tomorrow and get on. I'm already shedding on it. And get on here and show you the full Caraco shark. No promises. I may just have the teeth done in the rest of the crocodile. I'm not really sure. Yeah, so that's where I am on that. So thank you very much for stopping in and happy, I was gonna say Rocktober. Happy Rocktober. Yeah, Rocktoberfest. Uh, yeah, Vlogtober, 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 whatever. I see you, Jordan, get on it. And uh, I love you guys. Thanks again, bye.